Well, of course, lots more reports about how tough the government are going to be and they're going to try and win back your support. I'm talking about Brexiteers. The Conservative government are going to try and win back your support with a supposedly tough line when it comes to illegal migration. Of course, you do still have a ridiculous situation, really, where the Home Secretary, Suella Braveman, the person basically tasked with stopping the boats across from France, isn't allowed to implement the policy that she has openly spoken about as the solution to this which is to leave the ECHR. And that is fixing small boats. Both my experience as a barrister specialising in immigration law, defending the Home Office before I was an MP, and as the Attorney General, have led me to the conclusion that if we are serious about completing the Brexit promises, if we are serious about taking back control of our borders, then there is no alternative but for the UK to leave the European Convention on Human Rights and permanently exclude the jurisdiction of the European Court of Human Rights. Which of course has effectively blocked the Rwanda policy from happening this year, a policy announced by the then Home Secretary Priti Patel back in April. And so we've got lots more uh, tough talk, but as Nigel Farage has pointed out, the boats are coming despite uh, what the government are saying and threatening to do in the future, maybe, perhaps, could... The reality is uh, this is continuing. Just to give you an idea as to the scale of what is still uh, going on, Saturday saw uh, over 300 people on nine boats. That was then followed up yesterday on Sunday by 240 people on a further five boats. And just to show you how ridiculous this all is, uh, fewer than 100 people who have crossed the channel on small boats have been arrested for arriving illegally in the UK. That's 0.3% of those who have crossed since the law was changed. So I think that again is the reality of what is going on. Aside from the tough talk about what measures the government apparently perhaps is going to take in the future, the reality is the boats are still coming. The government haven't got a handle on this situation. It seems to me the solution is as set out, at least starts with the solution set out by Swella Braveman to leave the ECHR. Do you agree with that or not? As ever, I will keep bringing you all the very latest, so please do like this video a quick thumbs up, and of course, as ever, cheers for watching.